while the snow was falling, a beautiful queen sat sewing by the window. As she looked out onto the white garden, she saw a black raven, and in her distraction, she picked her finger with the needle. A drop of blood fell to the floor, and she thought, how wonderful it would be to have a little girl with skin as white as snow, with hair as black as that raven, and with boots as red as blood. Not long afterwards, the queen was blessed with such a baby daughter, whom she called Snow White. She loved her child dearly, but sadly died after a few years. Snow White's father married again, and while the new queen was very beautiful, she was equally vain. The new queen moved into the palace and things were alright for a few months. However, the queen became bossier by the day and she never seemed to have any time for Snow White. Maid, come here. You silly clock, take more care. How dare you pull my royal hair? I'm sorry, ma'am. Please pardon me. I'll be as gentle as can be. You silly ass, you made me frown. Now hand me my royal hair. Be gone, be gone, out of my sight. Thank you, ma'am. See you tonight. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Well, I've been ever seen, you are the fairest one of me. But one is growing up right here, the fair be within the year. Now let me see, who can it be? Who could ever be fairer than me? Growing up here, I see the light. It's got, it's got to be Snow White. Huntsman, you at once, I say. Hurry up, don't take all day. You are my huntsman, fast and fleet. Kill Snow White in the woods so deep. It's your command, I shall obey. You've done just as you say. Of them all. If all women ever see the white in the wood, the 
feathers queen. Snow White again, I thought her dead. Snow White in the wood, the mirror set. But not for long, if I have my way, I'll kill her myself this very day. The queen grabbed a dusty bottle from the shelf and took a long drink. Puff, she turned into an ugly witch. Then the witch took two more apples and poured them into a big iron pot. She was making a magic brew. Double, double, toil on trouble, fire burn on cauldron bubble. Next, the old witch dipped an apple into the pot. One taste of this, she said, and Snow White will sleep forever. <coughs> Meanwhile, the citizens were worried about Snow White and arranged a meeting to see what they could do. When suddenly a fairy appeared. Who on earth are you? Dear Eva Corjigalim, is Misha on Banshee? Pa me on shell con cower with D. What's that one blathering about? Wish, that's Irish he's talking. Translate it for me quick. Oh, we never learned Irish in Bearfield, Mother. You never learned it. You mean you never listened to it. And I warned you about calling me Mother in public. <laughs> Do you know your mother had the face of a saint? Oh, thank you, dear. You're at St. Bonnet. Did your mother ever lift weights? Why do you ask? How else could she raise a dumbbell like you? <laughs> I am Prince Andre from Romania. I have traveled across Europe to help you. I will save the beautiful Snow White if you can just tell me where she can be found. And yes, I do have a horse outside. How do you know you're not an imposter? Fear not. I am a true aristocrat. My great grandfather followed Napoleon. My grandfather followed the French, and my father followed Kukul. Anybody. Come on, everybody. Snow White's in danger. The last we heard of her, Your Highness, she was down there in the woods. Who is it? Who can it be? Come in, sit down, and I'll make some tea. Thank you, dear. I'll sit while. Here's an apple. Meanwhile, uh, ha ha ha! Snow White, goodbye. Now no one will be fairer than I. <laughs> Snow White is dead. Oh no! Oh no! Why are you sad? Why do you cry? Snow White is dead. Gone, my boy. I shall wake with a kiss. <laughs> <laughs>